Arizona State heads to Provo to take on BYU. BYU, a three and a half point underdog after winning the Holy War last week. Arizona State, like this line was at, I think, two to open with and and has jumped up. It got up to four. It got bet back down again. It's down to three and a half. Total of 51. Can, can BYU get excited and emotionally up for a second straight week? I don't think Arizona State has been that good. Jalen Daniels, or Jaden Daniels, I, I just don't know what to make of this team right now. I don't know if it's because of what happened in the offseason, but, you know, they, they've been able to stop the run, and they've been able to run the ball a little bit. Can't throw, but are they going to be able to stop somebody like BYU because they hadn't played anybody like them yet? I don't know what to make of this. I'm going to have to trust that they put everything they had into that Utah game last week to, to finally end the streak. I'm going to take Arizona State. I think I think that's the right side. I'm going to trust Herm to go in there and get this thing done, even though it is a whiteout in in Provo. I'm I'm taking Arizona State minus three and a half. So so you hit everything I said in, in my SBR pick as well. It, this, this is this is the problem. I don't care how hard you try to do it, you can't manufacture emotion. Okay, a- emotion is real and it's raw and it's live. Okay, the hatred that they had for Utah and the excitement for finally getting over that hump for the first time in nine years is a big big deal. It is impossible for those fans to show. You can tell them to wear whatever t-shirt you want, okay? It's impossible for those fans to show up this weekend and be half as excited as they were last weekend, all right? They can be happy. They can be thrilled, but they can't be passionate. They can't They can't muster that kind of fire and vigor inside them, okay? That just doesn't happen. Now, let's get to the X's and O's of this game. Their defense shut down the run game of Utah. The problem is, is Utah runs the football from a very power perspective. They're bigger than you, they're slow, uh, stronger than you, and they're very plodding, okay? Arizona State ain't going to do that. They're going to beat you with speed and finesse. This is a styles makes fight situation here, in my opinion. I think Arizona State has way too much speed, way too much athleticism. BYU and Utah were built way too similarly to where it's just one of those things where the fighter who won this most was going to win. And the fighter who won this most won. That's not this. I don't think the scheming is as good. The coaching is as good on BYU side as I do with Arizona State side. And there's not an athlete on the field as good as Dayton Daniels. I just, I just think he's that good. I think he's special. I don't care what he's done up to now the first two weeks. I'm telling you, this kid is special. I've seen him play too long. I, I can trust it. Hey, by the way, uh, what a difference in fan bases, right? Like one of the country's oh, top well, party yeah. schools. Going up against yeah. the, against the Mormon bunch at BYU uh, it had a lot of hate. LSU went up to but, uh, LSU go ahead, go ahead. went up to Provo a couple a couple of years ago, and that was a that was a fun time. We we that was probably the easiest drink that city dry that LSU's ever had. I can imagine. I can imagine. Uh, this is very hate. similar to that. A lot of hate on the uh, on the YouTube comments, by the way, from BYU fans saying that uh, our shtick is old about old men playing for BYU. They were like. They average the same age as any other college and whatnot. It's like, I don't think so. I don't think so. Like y'all can get mad all you I'm, want to. I'm, I'm almost, I'm almost, I'm almost positive they don't average the same age as every other college. Correct. Correct. Hang on. I would like, I would like to narrow that down as two starters. Okay. I, they might average the same age because they might have a shitload of eighteen year olds on the team. I don't think those guys are playing. All right. Yeah, I tend to agree. Their, <laughs> their front seven, their front seven are twenty four, not eighteen. Yeah. Go, go go look at Alabama's age. Go look at LSU's age. Go look at Georgia's age. Those guys are all 19 years old, all right? They can't they can't crack a beer, all right? Just because Utah doesn't, doesn't crack a beer doesn't mean that they can't. <laughs> I don't think you're wrong. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.